Now that was a disappointing game. That was a disappointing result. Arsenal nil, United nil. Arsenal against us in two games this season. 1-0 at Old Trafford, 0-0 at the Emirates. And after a week where we started it by beating Liverpool, knocking them out of the FA Cup, we've followed that up by losing to Sheffield United, who City beat 1-0 today, and then drawing 0-0 away at Arsenal. It's a disappointing week. One point from six, whereas before they were real... Look, those two games don't stop United's title chances this season. Let's be honest, Man City are winning the league. No United fan is going to try and convince anybody otherwise, and look, City are going to win it, but... United, it's been disappointing. Against Sheffield United was just abysmal football. And tonight, there against Arsenal, there was a real lack of urgency from the first whistle right up until the last whistle. Who was your, what was your reaction to the game? Who was your man of the match? Let me know in the comments below. But just, you know, United set up. I thought the team was okay. McTominay and Fred, that's uh, what Solskjaer goes for. And I think a little bit of credit to Solskjaer and the idea that when McTominay went off because it looks like he was either going to throw up or shit himself, or both of them, I'm not sure which, uh, he brought on Martial and he could have brought on maybe, I don't know, Van der Beek. He could, have, he could have made a slightly less aggressive substitution, but he brought on Martial and it was at that point where United really, in that, second, in that first half, sorry, up the tempo a little bit. But that's something United didn't do today. Really, at any point, we did not up the tempo. We were just cruising. And, and, and as that game went on, in the second half, it was all Arsenal 15-20 minutes. Lacazette hitting the bar. Arsenal had more of the initiative. But United tonight just didn't look like we wanted it in any way, shape or form. It looked like United and Solskjaer were just happy with the 0-0, happy with the draw, rather than risking it to go for the three points. And Gary Neville said it in his commentary, and I think he's absolutely spot on. It's a measure of where United feel they are. Where the confidence is, because we're, we're in a position of overachievement by being top of the league. This team should not be top of the league. But we were. And since we've got there, we've struggled with that mentality. Because the mentality of somebody who's top of the league is that you go against a team, and especially against Arsenal at some point today, they were there to be got at. But United in that second half, we didn't do that whatsoever. We, we really sort of went within ourselves. We, the tempo was not there. The press high up the pitch was not there. And I don't know whether it's because the players are tired, whether it's because of the tactics, whether it's because of instructions from Solskjaer and how to play. It just didn't really seem and feel like the United that got us to the top of the league. That wasn't the formula. Obviously, we keep our away, our away unbeaten record. You know, brilliant, uh, great news. But it was just disappointing there tonight, if I'm being completely honest. Something I would say about the, the starting eleven and, and the positions of the players... I do not want to see Marcus Rashford playing right wing at any point ever again. I keep saying, every time I see him there, it's just, it just annoys me. Because every time Rashford plays on the right wing, it takes away his natural tendencies. He's someone who likes to cut inside and get shot away. That's what he does, and that's what he does well. That's where, that's where he's really dangerous. Put him on the right-hand side, it takes away all his natural tendencies. He doesn't really know what to do. Apart from that chance in the first half where he skipped past, I think it was Xhaka, and he nutmegged him, and he looked like he should have crossed it to Cavani, but he scuffed his pass to Fernandes. It's kind of what United did tonight. We scuffed our way to a nil-nil draw in a game where I think easily, and I mean easily, we could have turned that into a win if the, if the mentality and the approach was different in that game. For me, that was, that was in a game where I think Ole Gunnar Solskjaer won't be happy publicly about it, but he'll come out and say, look, that's yes, right, fine, we'll take that. We'll take that nil-nil and we move on. And a nil-nil doesn't doesn't change anything. It doesn't change the narrative in any way, shape or form. It's hard to really talk about a nil-nil because there aren't that many talking points. And for me, that was disappointing. After the Sheffield game, we needed a response tonight. Roy Keane at halftime said, there's absolutely no way that United can come out of this game with unless they've got three points if they really consider themselves title challengers. And for me, looking at that game tonight, I don't think those United players consider themselves title challengers. For me, that team right there looked like a team that was happy to come away from the Emirates with a draw. And you know, in the grand scheme of things, that's not the worst result. But it, it was a game that if either, if either team really, really wanted that game and really took that game by the scruff of the neck, they would have won that game. Now, Arsenal, they've been largely shite for a lot of this season. They're on an upward trajectory. So they'll take that as a sort of a continued next step on their path upwards. But we've, we got ourselves to the top of the table. And since then, we've stumbled. We tripped over and 
face planted a puddle when we lost to Sheffield United. And tonight was the opportunity. Look, had we beat Sheffield there and come into this a nil-nil draw against Arsenal, it would not have been. It's not the end of the world. It's not the worst result in the world. It's just a. It's a disappointing result. It's a disappointing performance in a game that I felt United could have got more from. That's my own personal opinion. You might disagree with that, and sometimes you probably do. In fact, probably a lot of times you do. But it's just, it, that's all I can say. I'm just disappointed about it because I felt that if United really went a bit more aggressive, really went a bit more confident, they could have got more out of that game. Bruno Fernandes looked a little bit off. Everybody looked off tonight. Marcus Rashford, if not everybody. There's, there's, not, there's not an individual I'm going to single out for having an off performance because for me it was a, it was a collective damp squib from De Gea the whole way through to Martial and Cavani up front. United were seemingly happy to come away from the Emirates with a draw. If that wasn't the case, the tempo and the attitude and the approach and the mentality would have been visibly different on the pitch. But it wasn't. The players were trudging along. The players were just letting the game go by them. And Arsenal didn't really offer too much in terms of threat. So that's it. It ended nil-nil. It, it's not a game which really changes the narrative. And after the Sheffield game, that's the, United needed that change of narrative immediately. To quickly move on from it. But that wasn't the case. Let's see what happens. I can't remember who we've got next. But let me know what your reaction is to that game in the comments below. Nil-nil. I'm going to call it a damp squib. I'm going to call it a disappointment. I think Ole Gunnar Solskjaer will come out and probably be happy because it wasn't a defeat following the Sheffield United game. But for me, if United really wanted to win that game tonight, we could easily have won that game tonight. And I think Gary Neville and Roy Keane are both correct in saying that that is a, an indicator of where United's mentality is at the moment. They don't really properly consider themselves champions, elect. Otherwise, we would really, really have gone after Arsenal in that second half. That's what I think anyway. Let me know what you think. Make sure you drop a like on the video if you're watching on Facebook and make sure you subscribe if you're watching on YouTube and you're not already a subscriber. But nil-nil, I'm disappointed. Let me know what you think.